Good morning, Joy. Good morning, McGraw. Thank you for having me on. And hi, Kelly. Hi, Joy. Now, now, Yay. Joy, so good to hear you. <laughs> Joy, I met you uh, 17 years ago, 16 years ago. John Carney. I think so. John I Carney think brought me to. Just to, new in town. Yeah, John Carney brought me to one of your, your parties, right? Yes, where I made all the food. Yes. The, I don't know if you knew that then, but well, yeah, I I would have these big parties and I'd spend like a week making all the food myself. Yes, and meeting you was one of the darkest days of my life. <laughs> uh, you, Always doing things the hard way. Uh, yes. So uh, you were you spent years in in radio, right? That's right. Yeah, I think St. Louisans know me for, as Joy in the Morning from mm -hmm. Casey right. from back in the day. Yes. Uh, except, you know, that's a generation, it's a demographic that we that I share, but Joy <laughs> in the morning. people don't know mm -hmm. it. Joy don't in the Morning that. here on the Big 550 KTRS. And then you opened up the Fountain on Locust. How long ago did you open up the Fountain on Locust? Uh, let's see. What time is it now? It it's, was uh, 2008. 2008. So a good, okay, what, years. seven years ago, seven, eight years ago. Yeah. Um, and is it true that the Fountain on Locust has been awarded the most cleanest restrooms in the world? Well, no. <laughs> it's, it's, that is something that we got way back. Uh, it was that we were the best restroom in America in a contest in 2010. Okay. And honestly, we aren't the best restroom in America. Uh, it's just that the St. Louis people were very supportive, and they saw, oh, gosh, this person obviously doesn't know what she's doing, but she put a lot of work into this restaurant, <laughs> and we, we want people to know about it. So they got behind me and voted for it, and it was really heartwarming, and I was really grateful because they kind of put us on the map. All right. Now, tell us about the Fountain on Locust. Okay, so since then, we've gone on to become one of the top ten restaurants in the state, and we were named the, the best ice cream parlor in the state. So it's those we like to, to say more than the uh, best restroom because, first of all, we don't have the best restroom. <laughs> uh, and we, uh, we, you know, people will come in and they'll have high expectations and, and they'll say, oh, I saw a better restroom in Albuquerque. So, uh, <laughs> so we, we do like to um, go with the uh, best, rest best ice cream parlor in the state and, of course, one of the top ten uh, restaurants because we have uh, all scratch-made food and it's, uh, we work real hard. We make 47 different soup recipes. We've been awarded soup um, awards for uh, our scratch made soups that are, you know, I, I, I you got to come in, McGraw, and have like the soup duo. That way you can uh -huh. have two soups at once. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, and then we have four different soups every day that rotate. In fact, tomorrow for St. Patrick's Day, we're going to have a, a corned beef and cabbage soup. So mm. um, we just kind of, you know. Sure. Uh, I, and you, you know, I go there every Saturday, Joy, uh, for my Kelly, for my dinner break from Channel Five, you, and I get your soup and salad, and yeah. oh, every once you in a while, best. every once in a while, I get your hot fudge sundae. Well, wow, how can yeah. you do that? It's you, I, you have to get the coconut almond joy because uh, that is like oh. mm, yum yum. I've seen That's, you do the ten o'clock news. It looks like uh, you've had the ice cream martini at the <laughs> Fountain on Locust. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we are the lot. home of the ice cream martini. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I mean, you know, we did the, the. Everybody's like, "Well, what are you doing, Joy? What, why are you making this restaurant?" And uh, I don't know why. I just thought that you know, I didn't know anything is what I knew, the problem was. Uh, if I knew, I would have never done it. But uh, but you know how you start doing something, and then you're stuck in it. You got to keep going. You got to do it. And now here we got it. But I just wanted. I thought St. Louis should have a place like that. So and then I came across this ice cream from Wisconsin that I thought was the best in the country because it was aged. And I thought, well, somebody has to bring this to St. Louis. You know, not me. Sure. But, uh, <laughs> but then who's good? Well, I ended up being me. So here we are. But it's uh, it's turned out to be fortunately a good thing. All right. Well, now, where is the Fountain on Locust? That's the hard part. <laughs> we are. Uh, we don't have the best location. Um, again, another reason, you know, that I didn't know what I was doing. It is in Midtown, and it's. If you know where Pappy's is, we're just mm -hmm. a block from Pappy's, but they're on a bigger, more high-profile street. They're on Olive, and we're one block north of that. So we're about halfway between Grand and Jefferson on Locust, nearby the Fox Theater and all of that in Midtown, the Chavitz. We're real close to that. Sure and uh, major things if you're going downtown. But uh, the thing to remember is Locust doesn't intersect with Grand. That's where everybody gets all 
you know, crazy. And it's like, oh, where is it? You have to come around and come down. Well, people find it easily because it's always packed on Saturday nights. The fountain, it's the, place. the fountain on Locust, home of the ice cream martini, the home of joy in the morning. Uh, hours, joy. One yeah. of the hours for the fountain on Locust. Well, we're open every day at eleven, and then we close at ten uh, till Thursday, then midnight on Friday and Saturday, and nine on Sunday. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're number two on TripAdvisor right now, so so right. people do find us. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a good. It's good. We're right. grateful. Joy, thanks for uh, checking in, and um, thanks for your support. We love you, Fountain on Locust, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. We love Bye, you. Joy. All right, eight. Four, there you go. Joy in the morning. Back on the mornings. Yeah. This time on the Big Five Fifty KTRS.